They came from the four corners of the earth. The mightiest gladiators from Great Britain, Finland, America, and Russia. Together for the first time in history, united to accept the challenge of the international champion contenders in a battle that would decide who is the best in the world. preliminary rounds and John fashion you have been there before what is it like the moments before the big game in the locker room well Mike everybody's got their own way of calming themselves down and focusing on what they're trying to achieve right now backstage a lot of nerves a lot of tension they just want to get out here they want to meet everybody as soon as possible they know what is at stake with that in mind let's meet tonight's contenders first from Finland Rika Hartikainen. And from the USA, Adrian Sullivan. And as a gesture of international goodwill, a little exchanging of pins. Rika, where are you from in Finland? I'm from Joensuu. And what do you do for a living? I'm a kindergarten teacher, and now I study special education at University of Joensuu. And how do you think you're going to do against the Gladiators? I know you've had some help from your Finnish teammates. Yeah, they're all supporting me, and I do my best. We wish you the best of luck as well, and I notice you're sporting an American Gladiator pin courtesy of Adrian. Yeah, she just gave it to me. Rika Hartikainen from Finland. Good luck. Adrian, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do for a living? I'm a police officer back home. Uh, I work for the Cab County Police Department. Are you a normal police officer, CIA, detective, what? Uh, I'm a detective back home, been one for uh, about nine months now. I've been on the force about six years. And what do you do for uh, hobbies? Um, do my karate, tongue sudo, um, bike ride, uh, do a lot of miles, and uh, play racquetball, basketball, just any little thing I can get athletic and do. Are you confident you're going to do well tonight? Yeah, I think I have the correct attitude to uh, put on a good show, score some good points, and uh, come out victorious. And of course, enjoy yourself. Off you go, Adrian. Get yourself ready. <laughs> Introducing tonight's male contenders. From Russia, Shas Stastak. And from Great Britain, Paul Fields. <laughs> Stas, welcome to England. Where do you hail from? Where's your hometown? I am from in Moscow in Russia. My family live in Moscow. My wife Ludmila and little daughter Dasha. And what do you do for a living? I am a professional coach, bodybuilding and powerlifting. So you don't think you're going to have a problem tonight against the gladiators with all that strength, huh? The game is excellent. He's real strong. You're real strong. You're real excellent. We look forward to watching you compete. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Stas Shostak from Russia. Good luck. Thank you very much, Birmingham. Okay, Paul, what do you do for a living? Yeah, I'm a police officer in London, in the Met, Holborn Police Station. Got many, many supporters. I don't know what it is about tonight, but we've got a police lady on as well. Tell us, Paul, the last time we saw you in Great Britain, you didn't have that tooth missing. Can you tell us all what's happened? Right, in the final, during Powerball, I, um, I got knocked to the floor and my, the root of my tooth split. 
So I had to go and get the route accepted. I'm sure your wife wasn't very happy with that. <laughs> no, not at all. Neither was I, but i going to do my best today. Are you fit? Ready to go? I am, yeah. Fit and rearing. Paul, let's see how you get on. Off you go. Get yourself ready. Paul Fields from Great Britain. And now that we've heard from all the principals, only one thing can be said. Let the games begin. Coming up, event number one, women's Powerball. Wearing the pink uniform, operating out of the red scoring barrel will be Rika Hartikainen from Finland, 25 years old. Wearing the yellow uniform from the USA, Adrian Sullivan, 5'6", 145, a police officer. She'll be operating out of the blue scoring barrel. And they'll be going against our trio of gladiators. Here they are, Sky, Flash, and Nightshade. Sky from the USA, Flash from Finland. And of course, our very own Nightshade. Powerball tailor-made for Adrian Sullivan. Here's why. I'm looking forward to Powerball. I think that's one of my um, most strong events due to um, growing up with uh, three brothers, playing football with them, and my basketball skills. I think it'll play real well. Finland, ready! America, ready! Powerball perhaps a bit misnamed because speed and quickness equally important. A couple of big tackles straight off. Adrian turns it on there to get by Flash and score. Rika comes down hard there. Adrian another nice move and that one over Nightshade. Rika, sent a basket for three points. Moves a little closer to Adrian. Bit of a rim shot there. Nightshade doing another good tackle. Adrian squeaks away and scores again. Oh, Adrian cuts away through Sky and Flash for another two points. She said this was her best event. Now we know why as Nightshade takes Rika down hard. Under 10 seconds now. Both the same end. Cuts a dash. Sky comes down for a big dive. Not before Adrian gets another two points. She wins it, 10-3. Adrian, a real powerhouse in that. Tremendous lower body strength. Even when she's brought down, she still tries a backhander. Well, Rika and Adrian, the hard part's over. Now you can get a bit of a breather. How was it for you out there? It's a very good game, and the Gladiators had a great team, so it was quite hard to get. Were you thinking about that center basket as being the most important? Well, I did one there, so I'm not sure if I did any more, but... <laughs> that was the one you got, and it counted. Good work there. Adrian, ten points for you. Some bumps and bruises. Was it, was it worth it? Oh, yeah. I was trying to get for the middle, but uh, after the first tackle, I said, forget the middle. Run around outside and get as many as you can. Nice work out there. Rika Hartikainen and Adrian Sullivan... What a event in the women's competition. Rika Hartikainen from Finland, three. Adrian Sullivan of the USA, ten. The men are ready to rumble in Powerball. Introducing the contenders. Operating out of the red scoring basket, Stas Shostak of Russia. Blue contender. Operating out of the blue scoring barrel, it is Paul Field. For the gladiators, here they come. Shadow, Spartak, and Hawk. Hawk from the USA. Over to referee, John Anderson. Spartak from Russia. Russia ready! And of course, our very own Shadow. It was, of course, Powerball where Paul lost his tooth against Warrior in the British finals. Paul, a police officer who is not to be intimidated. He scores immediately. Working hard again. He's got great quickness as well. He's got another basket. Three in the span of 15 seconds. Paul runs into Spartak, and the Hawk swoops on Stas. At 6'7", Spartak, a Russian wall. 
And you can see the frustration on Stas' face. He still is looking for his first score. Paul slips one in for two. That one by Shadow. Shadow wraps up Stas. Hawk sends Paul to the ground and may have banged his head. He was shaking out the cobwebs. Paul looks pretty shaken too at the moment. Slips in two. Oh, did you see that, Mike? Spartak pulled the basket away from his fellow countryman. Oh, batted away there. As the Hawkster closes the book on Stas Shostak's final chance to score, that's the way it ends. Paul Field, the winner, 10 zip. Look at the difference in size between Shadow and Stas. And wasn't Stas unlucky? Nearly in the basket, and Spartak pulls it away. Stas, no points, but the effort was there. How did you like Powerball? Powerball is an excellent game. This time the gladiator proved stronger than me. Shadow beat me. I look forward to Pyramid. What do you think of that big guy, Shadow? Shadow very gladiator. Okay, get a rest. Four more events to come. Paul, these people know about how good you are in this event. And again, it was case in point, although I don't know how much more your body can take. Well, me too. <laughs> Did you lose anything that, that go round? No, I'll take some blood, so I think it might have, uh, that's it, I'm going to get checked out at the back. No problems. You look great out there. Congratulations, 10 points in Powerball. Paul Field and Stas Shostak. After one event in the men's competition, Stas Shostak of Russia, zero. Paul Field from Great Britain, 10. Event two, pursuit. Rike from Finland is going to be chased by ice. And from the USA, Adrian, and she's going to be chased by jets. Okay. Over to our international referee, Larry Thompson. Finland and America, you will go on my whistle. Gladiators, you will go on John's Rika whistle. and Adrian will be given a three-second three, head start. Two, one. And I must say, Mike. I couldn't think of two nicer ladies to be chased by. Ice on Rika, Jet on Adrian. Snake beams, here we come. Rika doing her darndest to keep her balance. Adrian with the lead as she heads for the wire bridge. She's on the bridge now. Rika's on the hand ladder. And look at Jet go, making short work. Ice closing in, and it's a tap. So Rika's effort is done. Adrian still trying to keep out of harm's way through the web trap, the quicksand. And the gap opening up between her and Jack now. Short work at that high wall. Now the split finish, she'll go. Ten points. And from this angle, we can see that Jet and Ice go the wrong way round the bollard, so they've both broken the rules. Ah, you're smiling at last. How did you find that? Well, it got me going. I heard about uh, Jet's reputation over here on this uh, pursuit. Did you realize how close she was? Well, you know, once I uh, jumped off the uh, handbars there, I looked back, I said, my God, she's on me. And I just gave it all I had right here on the nets. I didn't care about stepping through tippy toe. I just ran through, and I just did all I could to get over that wall. Well, you did very well. It was a scramble net where you got away from her, and you got yourself 10 points. Well done, Adrian. Well, Rika, Ice clearly cut round the corner. She's been disqualified. You've been awarded five points for second place. How do you feel about that? Well, of course I feel good, but I would feel better if she wouldn't catch me. <laughs> well, well done. After two events in the women's competition, Rika Hartikainen of Finland, eight. Adrian Sullivan of the USA, 20. So, moving on to the men's event. Strass from Russia looks set, and he's going to be chased by the big bad Wolfman! And Paul is ready from Great Britain, and he's going to be chased by the man who always swoops and catches his prey, the Hawk! Over to our international referee, Larry Thompson. Russia and Great Britain, you will go on my whistle. 
Gladiators. Paul is a police Go officer out, more accustomed to being the hunter. Here Three, in pursuit, he'll be the hunted. Two, and one. Mike, both hawk and wolf, predators. So they're after some blood here. The snake being the first obstacle to be overcome. Both contenders do that. And let's keep an eye on Wolf, because he has been known to cheat on this bridge, if you remember. <laughs> A time or two. Or three. Right now, Paul with a healthy lead over Stas. Stumbling a bit through the web trap. Now over the low wall. Over the high wall. This pursuit, no problem for Paul Field. He'll pick up 10 points with the greatest of ease. Now let's turn our attention to Stoss. Can he get five? He's got a wolf on his tail, but the answer is yes, he gets his five points and the gladiator's not even in well, it. Stress, congratulations. You got yourself five points. How did you find it? No, it this course... Was was not the most difficult element. Therefore, the fact I succeeded, I'm very happy. Thank you very much, Birmingham. Thank you, Sasha, from Russia. Paul looked very comfortable out there, getting faster and faster. How did you feel? Uh, I tried to stay relaxed. I was nervous. I didn't know how fast Gladiator was behind me, but stayed nice, calm, relaxed, did the biz. You certainly did. Ten points! <laughs> After two events in the men's competition, Stas Shostak of Russia, five. Paul Field of Great Britain, 20. We're going to have a very short break. So don't go away, because after the break, you can see some more exciting action on the International Gladiators. Welcome back to the National Indoor Arena. Event three, Pyramid. Adrian from the USA and Rika from Finland are getting ready and they're going to be facing Sky and Flash. Rika from Finland told us the differences between her show and international gladiators. Well, in your show, it differs from ours that uh, you have uh, lots of music here and uh, Lots of people watching it, and I think it looks fabulous. Rika will need a little song in her step if she is to scale this 32-foot high pyramid. Sky, the American gladiator, has been assigned to her. Adrian Sullivan will try to get back by Finnish gladiator Flash. Rika, the kindergarten teacher. This is going to be no romp in the playground for her. Both women on their way. They have 60 seconds to make it to the top. Interesting tactics, goes for the left wing, and that didn't pay off, she took herself down. Oh, Flash down. and Adrian both go flying back to the bottom. Flash as Adrian wrapped up one more time. And Rika running around, but not getting up those steps very quickly. She can run, but she cannot hide. But look at Adrian Sullivan, she breaks away from Flash, and she has made it to the top with plenty of time to spare. Ten points, her mom Vivian going wild. Meanwhile, Rika in all kinds of trouble. Down she goes. Very genteely, I might add. She's got ten seconds left. Sky shadowing her every move. Sky the size of about three steps there. <laughs> she has a wingspan of a giant condor. Tough to get by her. Rika will not do it. And Adrian wins this particular pyramid. Ten zip. Flash takes a dive. She misses. And Adrian, with her speed, gets to the top. Just a flash in the pan? I think not. After three events in the women's competition, Rika Hartikainen of Finland, eight. Adrian Sullivan of the USA, 30. On to the men's event. Stress from Russia and Paul Fields from Great Britain are going to be facing the Dynamite and the Awesome Shadow! Over to John Anderson. Great Britain and Russia. Ready! Dynamite and Shadow look like a pair of Greek statues atop that pyramid. Gladiator! Paul will have to get by Dynamite. Stas Shostak will have to get by Shadow. Two, one. Paul has made this trip before, but for Shostak, 
This first attempt, should we dare call these the Russian steps? <laughs> Dynamite sends Paul back to the bottom, and he's lost his helmet as well. And Paul looking for a route around the big fella. Dynamite's so wide, he'd be an expensive cab ride around him. He's that large. <laughs> Now Stars has got his work cut out for him trying to maneuver around Shadow. He's a persistent Dino. fella, isn't he? He is persistent, and look at this. Shadow has lost contact with Stas. Stas will make it all the way to the top for 10. He is pumped up. Now it's all about Dynamite and Paul. Policeman Paul, and he joins the flying squad. Look at him bounce. I think Paul thought for a second he was going to get free, and then Dynamite grabbed his jersey to send him back to the bottom. That is it. Excellent work. Paul doesn't even realize it's over. There's Shadow and Stars on the left. Shadow coming out the worst as he goes to the bottom, and little Stars, about the size of one of those steps, manages to crawl to the top and surprisingly take the 10 points. And it's Dosvidaniya Shadovic. Sometimes when David faces Goliath, David does win. How does a little guy like you shrug off a big guy like Shadow? Do you see there? The Russian audience. They all want to win. But I want to win more. That's why. I real strong. He is real strong, right, Shadow? <laughs> well, you gave it a great shot up there and uh the big guy from Russia, Dynamite, had that vice grip. It was tough to get away, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, he's a uh, some some man. Uh, I thought he was going to be throwing me off, but he just held me there and just wore me out. A lot more events to come. Paul, don't uh, let that chin go down too deep, man. They still love you here. Cheers, no worries. Paul Field and Stas Shostak.